Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to talk about what is the nicotine patch protocol for long COVID. So I've been making some videos about my experience with this, but um, some people are asking like, what is the protocol? So this video is going to be just about what is the protocol. Um, so I found this in the research. There is some research backing this. Um, and so what the protocol is, if this is for long COVID is all I found. Um, I haven't found it for like chronic fatigue or other things. Um, but they use the lowest dose of a nicotine patch, which is seven milligrams usually. Um, and in the study, the participants wore it continuously. So 24 hours a day and they changed it once a day. So after 24 hours, they changed it to a new patch every day for seven days. Um, but then it took them until three to four weeks later for most of the participants in the study to um, get rid of their symptoms completely. Um, so it took them like 21 to 27 days from day one is like the day you start the patch. Um, so that is the protocol that's in the research. Now, let me tell you a little bit about the research. So the research study was only on four participants um, and it was what we call a retrospective study. So that means sort of they wrote it up after, like this is what we did and this is the results. So in the hierarchy of medical research, this is like pretty low level. Um, so at the very, very top, the ideal ultimate best research study is what we call double blind placebo trial, um, which means placebo means X number of participants got the nicotine patch, X number of participants got just a blank patch with no medication. And double blind means the research participants don't know who got which and the study um, researchers, the gather information gatherers, col data collectors um, don't know who got which either. So they're recording their symptoms, right? Um, so everyone thinks that they got the 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 patch, right? This is like in a double blind placebo study um, that everyone thinks they got it. So they're recording their symptoms. And then at the end, they sort of compare um, statistically, is there a significant difference? So that's the ultimate level of research that I wish we had for this or for anything for long COVID and chronic fatigue. Um, so if any researchers out there want to fund this, I think this would be an amazing study that hopefully has good results. Um, and the lowest level of study is what we call just like a case study. It's like a write-up on like one particular person. Um, that's something that worked. Um, so that's kind of like usually research starts there. Like, oh, we, we tried this thing. It worked. Um, we're going to write it up in an official like medical journal. Um, so like the retrospective study of four people is like pretty low on the evidence level, but it worked for everyone in the study. So that is the study. Seven milligram patch, wear it continuously 24 hours a day and you change it once a day every 24 hours for seven days. Um, so let me tell you what we call anecdotal evidence. Anecdotal just means like people's experience. It's not really backed by like evidence or research. Um, so these are some things that people have commented on my YouTube that I've read on other forums um, and a little bit of my personal experience. So some people, um, and I've seen this on other websites, they start with a lower dose, like one quarter or one half of the patch, and they sort of build up over some days. Um, some people have told me like, um, they're really sensitive. And so like a quarter or a half is where they start. I will say my experience, the first two days, I definitely had side effects. I felt nauseous. I felt a little jittery, a little bit difficulty sleeping, but I already have trouble sleeping since COVID. Um, that's part of my long COVID, which I learned over time that that's a common symptom. Um, so if that's you, maybe a lower dose. Um, there was one person in the study that, um, took the patch off like overnight or for 10 hours because they were having too many symptoms. Um, and people have told me that too. Um, I will tell you honestly, I did this a month ago and I wore it for nine days straight. I had a little bit of symptoms the first two days and then nothing. Um, and it did help a lot. I would say by like day 21, I started to feel better through day 28 and then I kind of started to feel worse again. So I actually when I'm recording this, I started it again 
yesterday and the nausea was really bad last night so I took the patch off overnight and then I put it on again in the morning so hopefully now I can do it continuously again. Um, so some people do that if they have trouble sleeping because of it. I mean nicotine is a stimulant so it's a little bit, a little. I feel a little buzzed, <laughs> a little bit energetic but also part of my symptoms are like my heart rate goes crazy just, it just does so that part didn't really bother me. Um, a lot of what I've seen online is people will do this protocol for longer. So like anywhere from 14 to 30 days. So I did it originally for nine days. Like I said, I think it really helped. Um, my heart rate is definitely better, but sort of in the last few days, I started getting spikes in my heart rate overnight again, and my energy kind of like decreased again. So that's why I was like, let me just do another round of this um, and see. So maybe I should have done it for longer the first time around, but that's what we'll see. Um, so those are kind of like the things I hear from other people and then kind of what the research study was. So I would love to hear if you have long COVID, if you've tried this, like sort of how long did you do it? You know, did it help? Um, did you do it more than once? Did anything else that you do help? Um, I feel like a lot of people, and I felt this way myself, that's why I'm making these videos, it's sort of like doctors don't know what to do with us. Um, there are no like FDA approved treatments. This is sort of like what I've heard from people, like we're all just trying to like do it on our own. Um, but I would say this is the one treatment that I've heard consistently, like people actually feel a difference. Um, so this is not medical advice, but I think it's worth trying. And and in the research studies, there was no like long-term negative side effects and there was no like, no one's addicted to nicotine. Um, and also they only use the lowest dose patch. So there was one person in the study who thought he was supposed to increase it and he doubled it like to the next step, like 15 gram, and he had a lot of side effects. And so yeah, the, the research protocol just says stay at the seven milligrams for seven days. Um, but there is a lot of research on nicotine, which is kind of what convinced me to do this is there was a lot of research on nicotine as a medical treatment. Um, and really the research talks about most people only have negative side effects at high doses. Um, and usually the side effects are like GI, like upset stomach, nausea, things like that. Um, but Ironically, I also came across a study that they use nicotine, like in the hospital, they use nicotine patch to treat col ulcerative colitis. Um, so I didn't really read, read the study, but anyway, I find that fascinating. And there's a ton of science about like the mechanism of why this works. Um, so that's sort of the summary. I would love to hear your experience. If you've tried this, if it helped, if it helped permanently, um, or if you had to repeat, or if you did it for longer, or if you ramped up the dose. So yeah, let me know in the comments and hopefully that will help other people too. Okay, thanks, see you later.